Hello everyone, this is Time Fast, and you might be wondering why is my background like this and why you can see this section of the room. Well, well, this is going to be one of those reviews where I'm going to review a pretty big box. So, I got this. So, let's take a closer look at it. Pro Rise! <laughs> Now, if it wasn't obvious enough from the box, the design, and all the Chinese that's written on this, this is practically Ultraman Orb set. And when I say set, I mean bootleg because when you zoom in to the box, which I will bring up on camera, um, I'll lift up the camera and you can see that it says there's Superman. And when I go up here, it says Deluxe Orb Caliber. Now, I don't know what kind of deluxe they're talking about, but judging from these items that you see here, including the included figure, I have little, little expectations what this thing will provide. And to my fellow Malaysians out there, this is 28 ringgit, 90 cents. Let's turn to the back of the box to see what kind of information we have. Now, we do have the original Orb Caliber here, which... Let's be honest, it's not going to look like that. We have Orb Special Zeppelion. We have the Orb Ring. We have the Orb Caliber into the Orb Ring, which is not the one that's inside the box, but we'll see how they include this. And when I zoom in into this section, you can see that they took the Orb Caliber and scanned it with the figure to activate some kind of sound. Now, if somebody can translate this for me, I would highly appreciate that. But for what it is, since I don't speak Chinese and I don't know what this thing says, I have little to no expectation that this will be good. But hey, they still mention that this is the Deluxe Orb Caliber. Considering the box is already damaged, let's just take out the items which are already in the box. And oh my god, this is going to be a long process. So I'll just cut to the toys that are already going to be outside. So these are all the items outside of the box and as you can see we get the orb ring, the orb caliber, the orb figure itself and of course the ultra fusion card. And let's take a look at the ultra fusion card first. The ultra fusion card here does look like the original now doesn't it? But when you look to the side, uh, it actually is bent and then the back is black and white and you can already see it's already cropped. So what kind of uh, thing they're gonna do with this is beyond me. Next, we get the orb caliber, I mean the orb ring, so let's remove this. So the orb ring itself does look a bit decent for what it is, and it's got that little screw there, as you can see, it's reflecting the light pretty much okay. There's a T here, this is supposed to be red, and yeah, the coloration here is different. This is supposed to be red, these red parts are supposed to be silver, and yeah, there's an on-off switch here, this does not have batteries it seems. The speaker is down here from what I can see. And this button does something, I guess, but can this close up? Oh, it does. And, okay, they got that mechanism done. So we're going to take that one by one. Then we have the orb caliber here. So we're just going to remove this from the box. It's easier to set than, oh, there, there it is. Oh, yeah, the orb caliber does feel nice in hand, but does feel a little bit shaky. We got fire, water, earth, and wind in Japanese, it seems. It's kind of shiny. There's a little bit light there. The trigger is only just an on-off switch, it seems. No pressy-pressy here. And the ring here, I think it's molded separately and... Oh, it's stiff. And it moves the symbols. So that's one way to know that this thing is not original. And last but not least, the orb figure itself so this is gonna be hard but come on there we go and that's it for the pack the orb figure itself doesn't look that bad i mean it could use some coloring but in terms of molding it's okay i mean let's zoom into the face and you can see the many problems with this orb figure but i will say it is a bit more bigger and higher than the ultraman ginga figure i have so yeah props to you and these arms are made of rubber and as for articulation, these arms can move 360 and there's no waist, there's no head rotation, all the basic stuff. So yeah, this figure will come in handy with these things. The first thing we're going to take a look at is the orb caliber. The orb caliber here, just like I said, it only spins 
this much and you can spin it side by side. I don't think this is supposed to be like this. I don't know, it just seems a bit too stiff for my taste. And for batteries, I uh, it's located back here. I so we're going to need some small batteries. I'll be right back. Batteries inserted, cover put on. And let's see what kind of thing this has. So the on off switch, seno. So it just has a pulsing light. Is that it? Is is that it? Um so there's nothing really to this orb caliber now it did say you can scan the orb caliber with the figure so let's see what the figure does I believe they scan it to the front here um that's weird hmm okay so I is there something wrong with this thing like it doesn't even work what what? Okay, let's try something else then. Let's try the Ultra Fusion card. So there's not no sound. Is is this thing all lights? What? So let's see what the orb ring does. There can't be something broken with this, is there? Okay, there's something wrong with this orb caliber. Uh, so I think it's broken? I will say though, holding this thing in hand really does feel comfortable. It's like I'm holding the actual the deluxe orb caliber though. Only this thing would spin much more better, would be nice. So yeah, that's it for the orb caliber. Let's take a look at the orb ring. So as I said before, the orb ring is basically not color accurate and it does have the switch which allows it to open like so. So it, that's a pretty good idea for them to actually do for a bootleg. Now the one, the question is, how will this uh, lights and sound be? So the batteries are located at the back here. Um, there are no batteries, so let's just see. Uh, okay, batteries, here I come. Batteries in, cover on. And let's see. So press the button. Nothing happens. Let's see what the switch does. Oh, that's actually pretty nice. It's colorful, I, I guess. I mean, colorful LEDs, sparkly. So will the button do anything? Absolutely not. So I'm assuming that these have some kind of system for this. So let's see what this ultra cart do so let's see what it does okay that was the typical chinese sound that they always use but i do appreciate that they use the first ultraman opening so what happens if I scan it twice? So it's the same sound, huh? Okay, so what happens if I push this in? Oh, I see. In the middle of the center of the color timer, there's a bit of a bulge. I think that's a magnet inside here. Ah, I see. So, I'll link a video into the description. This is basically what the uh, Jeet Riser used. If you haven't seen that video, I will link it into the description or in the comment section for you to watch that video. But basically, just like the Jeet Riser that I have in my uh, storage room, it uses magnet system to connect the wires to produce sound. So, yeah, um... This is the only sound that it has because the Jeet Riser uh, that I had had multiple sounds in it and it used the magnet system as well. So I think this came out first and then the Jeet Riser. So um, let's just see what happens if I scan and then press the button. So let's just see. What? Did it just cancel the sound? What? What? Let's see what happened again. 
I guess it does cancel the sound, so will it unlock a new sound? Yeah, it doesn't do anything else. Okay, so let's see what the Orb Caliber does. Orb Ring. Orb Caliber. Oh, stop it! So yeah, I guess the main attraction for this thing is the uh, Orb Ring and the Orb Caliber just doing the sounds, I guess, as a magnet. There's a magnet, I think, in here, which allows it to engage the sound. Oh, no, no, no. And just for a quick size comparison, here is the card included with this set. And here's an original fight, Ultraman Fighting Evolution. Oh, shit. No, wait. So, going back to what I said, this is the card that's included with the deluxe set. And here is it um, next to an Ultraman Fusion Fight card. And as you can see, the size is practically the same, but when you turn to the back, it is way beyond um, comparison because this obviously is much more thicker. And this one is basically just paper. And if you're wondering, no, you cannot scan this card with this. It will only scan with this card. And somehow it doesn't work anymore. So, yeah. Aside from what I just said, that this thing is supposed to be a bust for the Ultraman line, I guess it does make it justified as to why would you get this set. First off, you're going to save a bit of money for the uh, child that you have if they really like Ultraman orb and the other thing is that you can customize this test your painting skills but aside from those reasons i don't think there's another reason for you to get this uh, deluxe orb caliber set because let's be honest this is a bootleg and of course it's not as flashy as the um original toy so really i can't recommend this thing Unless you really want to save your budget and just want to cosplay as a guy and really don't care about the deluxe set. But aside from that, there is no reason for you to get this. I got it because I wanted to repaint this. And that's the only reason. So yeah, this was Time Plus. And I'm signing out. I'll see you in the next video.